This episode is going to be the tailgate repair. I think it's bad enough that it's going to get its own episode. And hopefully the episode won't conclude with me just buying a different tailgate. I kind of half thought about getting a different tailgate. But with what I'm doing with the truck, just kind of doing a shop truck theme and not really doing anything with the paint, I thought I would give fixing this a go and see what I can do. It, it needs to be functional though. I want to use the tailgate. I want to use the box. I want to be able to put the tailgate down, sit on it, haul stuff. So it needs to be functional. So that's going to be my goal. Got a dent there. The idea is I've got, I bought this drawn over mandrel tubing. It's two inch OD which is what this is and it's 95 thousandths wall which is going to make it about 1.8 these are like 1.750 about one and three quarter so they're going to fit in there so the idea is that i'm going to just cut the whole bottom of this off i think i need to weld washers in the same depth on here for stops to set the side to side movement but then patch here and the bottom I think the back side I think I can cut the whole tailgate's got a little bow to it straighten that out it's not if you've watched my other videos you know I'm not doing a show truck but I just want it to shut nice so here we go this tool is something I wanted to mention I don't I don't even know what these are called so I'm gonna apologize for the light but you can, it's a blue point. You can still get these if, I know lots of people have these, but they're almost indispensable. Like I've got a Phillips head here that I'd like to take out. And just looking at it, you're thinking, I'm probably gonna have to drill that. But you take, you take this, it will go in either direction, and you hit it with a hammer and it just turns just a little bit as it drives in. So the force of the hammer is driving into the bit. See this, if you can see that's pretty stripped out. And the shock impact is helping you too. So I'll get a, get a shot of this. Hopefully it will work. But this is really handy if you're, if you're into working on old stuff and you've got, especially if a rusted Phillips, but it works on, on hexes too. Kind of works like an air impact. It's going to be loud. You may want to mute. Just like that. So it's getting there. There's the pipe that I added. And then there's a washer on each end that I welded in for the stop to set the center. And then all the filler pieces. I got a big cut out here. I got holes to fill where they push the dent from the other side. And across. And then for this corner piece, it kind of worked out good. I've got these chunks out of the bed right up at the top. It bends off. It's got the same bend radius. And I'm just cutting those out. They're pretty solid. I've been cutting those out to use for these patches where I went up over the angle. And then I've started tacking the back on. Get that dent pulled out. It's not going to be all that pretty. But it should be functional. So this is where we're at. I have it back mounted on the truck. I've just got some etching primer on it for now. Obviously it's not gonna be a, you might be able to put Bondo in it and use it as a driver. It's obviously not gonna be a show truck. But for what I'm doing, I'm happy with it. It's very solid. It's 
most of the stuff all brackets that were all bent and got those hammered out and this tubing worked out really good I've got one little spot that's kind of scuffing I got to grind this this is bent out from damage down so it needs to be pounded back I have a little more adjustment I could move it back some too they had holes in here to repair damage on the front they left those so I filled those in I don't actually know what I'm gonna do on the back here with paint yet I've still kind of up in the air I've got something I want to do to protect the inside hopefully that'll be this clip rather than trying to explain it I'll just show you save your time So yeah, it's very functional, which is what I am after. Looks relatively like it used to. Compared a lot of these, this was all cracked. Cracked down here, it was cracked on the inside. Compared that, there was a crack right here. Compared that, this was all cracked. This, this tailgate seems some extreme, way more weight than the Ford engineers had ever intended it seeing. So that's where we're at. So I was concerned about rust on the inside of the tailgate. It was pretty surface rusty. And obviously there's really no way to get in there and do anything about it. And there was this cavity up here and this cavity down here, which I realized I had opened up down here and I could have worked on. But I used all the pieces of the bed I cut out to repair this lower section and that was surface rusty on the back. So what I chose to do is I put this rust mort on the inside of it. It's a rust converter. It's supposed to turn rust into something that's not, um, will make it stop rusting, I guess. Convert it into just a dirt material. I made these plates to just kind of Hold it in there and then I would dump, put half of it in the top, slosh it around, half of it, half of it in the bottom. And I know it's really basically impossible to see in there, but if, if I look in there, it's this black, turns this kind of this black, hard, crusty, it's not, I guess it's not crusty, just this hard surface. I used it once before with relative success. The only problem, I'm sure everybody wants to know how it will perform well until you use it for years and it gets rained on won't really know so that's what I did it actually it's kind of hard to see but anywhere there was a seam it actually seeped through the seam too and you get the same thing right on the edge of the seam you'll get this this black um, turns it black and makes it not scaly so hopefully when I used it before, it does the same thing. It, over the years, it pretty much just stayed the same. Didn't really start rusting again. And I'm pretty heavily contemplating reusing my sophisticated block off mechanism here and just getting some cheap tractor paint or something. Because I said this is like a primer, but it does say it'll perform better if it's painted over. So maybe just put some paint. The inside of this is new. So maybe just get some paint and slosh around in there. I don't know. Maybe I'm overkilling the whole thing. I don't know. But I just kind of, I don't want the tailgate to rust back out on me. I want to use this truck. I anticipate it being in the rain, getting wet. And I don't want to have to go back and deal with it. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I do things that overdoing them but so once I get that on the inside I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that maybe spend a couple more dollars on a quart of paint and dump it in there and slosh it around try to get some paint in there and then throw some just some color on this set this aside the next step for me is tearing apart the crown Vic so kind of looking forward to getting this done so since the last video, I got some cheap tractor paint 
and dumped it, plugged off the holes, dumped it inside the same way I did the rust mort. Just tried to get some paint on the inside. Uh, I can't see in there. Protect it some for use. I just used the Ford tractor paint. Kind of leaked out a couple, a couple spots. It kind of seeped out a little, but hopefully that'll protect it. And then I used the same blue that I used on the box and painted up the areas I had to weld on or the new steel or the reused steel where the paint was removed. Painted around where the latch goes. Probably wet sand this a little. I did that on the box where I used that paint and it kind of looks pretty good, I think. Good enough in my book. I'm sure this is the kind of stuff that makes guys like Chip Foose wake up in a cold sweat, but for what I'm doing, this is just a little bit of, that is dupe paint, that's a little bit of overspray. I'll talk about that in a second. Let me flip it over to the other side. So that's the other side. I really debated whether or not to paint this. I'd had a nice patina on it, but I finally came to the decision that one of the primary things was I kind of wanted to be able to put the tailgate down, have a seat on it, and I didn't want to have to worry about if I had decent clothes on or getting them covered in rust. And it was pretty much all the paint was gone, so I did paint it. I carried the two-tone. I don't know how that'll look once it gets on the truck, but I put the two-tone around. This top was really rusty, so I just want to throw a little paint on there to protect that. That's what the overspray is from the other side. So with use, once I put this thing in service, this will this should get scratched up a little and wet sand it and then scratched up so it blends with the truck. Obviously I didn't take all the dents out, I just got the major stuff out so it would function. So I think that's gonna be a wrap for the, the tailgate with its own episode. In the meantime on the Crown Vic I've got my cruise control added. Sorry for the plane. Got my cruise control added and that's ready to go. So that's the next step is taking the Vic apart. Thanks for watching. Channel is Scrap to Art Metalworks.